Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. The following gun was waiting for me when I recently returned and I'm always keen to see what Umrex are launching. This is the new Glock 19 CO2 4.5mm BB pistol. But first, the disclaimer. The following programme contains no firearms, no scenes of hunting, no violence and no cruelty to animals. All guns shown are compressed air in spring, CO2 or pre-charge forms. The programme is aimed at being informative, entertaining and, above all, promoting safety. It is only made possible by the help from the following people who make up the production team and who give up their time and expertise free of charge. The first thing that you notice when you get hold of the new Glock 19 pistol is how small it is in the hand and just how compact it is. It has an overall length of 186 millimeters and is quite a lightweight at 717 grams. The top is metal and the bottom is plastic with a plastic trigger and trigger guard. The dropout magazine uh, which holds 16 rounds of 4.5mm BBs, is metal and plastic. It's a non-blowback pistol, which gives out a claimed 3 joules of power. So, naturally, I wanted to check this claim out on the chrono. So, sure enough, it was averaging 419 feet per second with 5.37 grain steel BBs which is 2.84 joules or 2.09 foot pounds with a maximum of 424 feet per second or 2.91 joules or 2.14 foot pounds. So pretty close to the claimed figures. So let's try the heavier copper 7.4 grain BBs. They produced an average of 364 feet per second, giving 2.95 joules and 2.18 foot pounds, with a maximum of 372 feet per second, which is 3.08 joules and 2.27 foot pounds in old money. I did try it with the Gamo lead BBs, but it didn't like them at all. But I feel they are very slightly larger in size. So, yes. It does what they claimed. Looking good so far. With a comment like, so far, I suppose you're looking for a negative. Well, let's address my only gripe with this gun at this point. The safety. There isn't one. Well, there is the built into the trigger type. But that takes it off safety the minute you squeeze the trigger. Now, I would have preferred to have had a separate catch somewhere on the gun. OK, that's the only negative for me. So let's go back to the review. It's semi-automatic, 16-shot, non-blowback with a smooth ball, which is recessed to add realism. The non-adjustable open sights which incidentally I really like with the white U-shape at the rear and white dot on the front gives a lot of clarity. Loading the CO2 is simplicity itself. Simply drop out the magazine, remove part of the rear grip, which also holds the hex key, so there's no chance of losing it, always a favorite of mine. Drop in your CO2 cartridge, tighten up, Return the rear handle, then loading the magazine. The magazine itself is part metal, part plastic, as we said earlier on, and has a lovely smooth action of just pulling back the spring with your thumb. No need to break nails off on every finger you got. And once that's locked back into place, all you need to do is drop each individual pellet, sorry, BB, 
in through the hole that's neatly provided there, 16 in total, return the spring, return to the gun, and it's ready for action. Okay, accuracy then. As always, I simply fill the gun with CO2 and ammunition, set a target out at eight meters, and fire. No practice, just first time out of the box, so I'm not making adjustments for sight, misalignment, or anything else. Now this is pretty accurate, and with practice would be a proper tool, even without any adjustable sights. One of the really nice things about this gun is there's no painted warnings all over, as you often get on these. There's no logos and the like. It's a simple, nice black finish, which gives the gun much cleaner lines. There are etchings of the name Glock 19, etc., but it adds to its authenticity without it looking gory. Okay, in conclusion, at about £110 sterling, I've no idea what it is in dollars, I'm afraid, this is a low-cost Umarex quality, compact size, good-looking, good value, and nicely accurate, authentic pistol to have in anyone's collection. Thumbs up again, Umarex.